we could do it, you know. Take off, live in the woods. They'd catch us. Well, maybe not. We wouldn't make it five miles. Welcome to Wet the Flick and Happy Hunger Games. We're all gonna fight to the death after this. <laughs> who, who is our odds on favorite among the four of us? Totally me. Great, really guns. strong. But I'm little and wily. That's I true. Have the, I, I have the low center of gravity on my side. So <laughs> I will crush that. you. <laughs> my That's hero true. is Gina Davis, so I also, by defect, am good with bow and arrow. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm Christy, this is Matt, this is Gray, this is Alonzo. Um, we're talking about The Hunger Games, perhaps you have heard of it. If not, Gray's gonna describe it to you. All right, away. so this is an adaptation of a book series, in case you didn't know. And if, if you remember the Romans, just keep them in mind, because in The Hunger Games, the capital rules over all of the districts in this futuristic world. And in one of the poorer districts lives our heroine, Katniss, who gets, she volunteers to participate in a televised battle to the death because her younger sister is the one selected. So she steps up and she got to start killing some kids. And that is the movie. <laughs> that is pretty much the movie. <laughs> it's more or less, um, and it's brutal. There's 24 of us, Gail. Only one comes out. And so it was decreed that each year, the 12 districts of Pan Am shall offer up in tribute one young man and woman between the ages of 12 and 18 to be trained in the art of survival and to be prepared to fight to the death. This is the time to show them everything. Make sure they remember you. I read the book. I know you read the book. Do you think you have to have read the book to appreciate the movie? No. 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 Okay. No, no. All right. But the, reading the book makes it easier to fill in the gaps, as it always does. Sure. Um, but especially in this one, because I thought that the character development was a little light, because there are just so many characters. Right. And, and there's so much plot. Like, they're racing to cram in all this And stuff. the mythology of it is so dense, you have to yeah. like take two paragraphs to explain, you know, it was a post-apocalyptic futuristic <laughs> world, and there are all these districts and all that. And it's still two hours and 22 minutes long. But it doesn't yeah. feel that long. No, it doesn't. It moves really well. It, it, no. Yeah. The, uh, one thing that I, just a, a, this is sort of nitpicky, and, and, and if people who read the books are like, oh, really, they left that out? There's a lot of talk in the first third of the movie. They keep telling the kids, oh, you gotta get sponsors. You're only gonna stay alive if you get sponsors. And then once the games actually start, no one sponsors anything. Like, that well, never no, that's not true. Come no, no, but they, the but, they, but they only get them from Woody Harrelson. Right, but he may have but gotten them from well, sponsors. Well, uh, no, that's but pushing no, but there's a scene no, where you see Woody out, and he's kind of lobbying, and he's right. talking to people shaking who obviously hands. have money, shaking hands. Right. Like, oh, okay, he's raising money for sponsors. Well, this, is, this is actually a good example, though, of where the book fills in knowledge, because that is the way it goes. Uh -huh. um, and the also skip one of the details of the book, like a donation that someone gave. I was gonna which, say, that's what somebody told me. I was like, okay, well, yeah, that's not in the movie. Yeah, so. also, they, but the, one of the very few things they left out. But yeah, it is very, very faithful. But as you say, yeah. it leaves out some of the character development. So there's, I, mean, I don't wanna give anything away for those of you guys who have not seen it, but there's a very emotional relationship that Katniss builds with another competitor that is kind of condensed. Yes. And it's a moment that when I read it in the book, I actually got choked up. Right. Yeah, but in the movie, there just there isn't the time to explore that. But, but those kinds of quieter moments, the with her and Gail, with her and Cinna, I mean, that's more powerful to me than a lot of the big action scenes. The reason, here. That I'm, la <laughs> the reason I'm laughing is because you mentioned Gail, and Liam Hemsworth gets to do little more Zip. than stand around and look. Well, so no, she said with him in the right. beginning, but in the beginning they had this obvious bond. Right. And moment. clearly he's going to come back. Yeah, right? he's, he's oh, like yeah. he's like Julie Walters in the first Harry Potter movie. We're like, <laughs> okay, I'll be back later. Like just relax, <laughs> like, matter, everybody. Eventually. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's totally relationship abridged. Like it's he's going to get to do more in the later books, but poor guy, he's like barely in this one. I, I will say that you don't have to have read the book. I, I haven't read the book because it's not a comic book. Uh, <laughs> if, if it yes, popped up, right? pretty exactly, pictures, exactly. Would you exactly. Read it? If it was a pop-up book, maybe. I would. <laughs> Um, I liked the movie a lot. I thought it was really good, uh, having not really known much about the story. Mm -hmm. Now, I will say, for those people that know their lethal game show movies, you know, there's a little bit of The Running Man in here. Yes. Um, as much as I love Stanley Tucci, mm -hmm. he's no Richard Dawson. Oh. I, 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 and who is, and really? who is, right? Um, and there's 
kind of a bit of battle royale in here, right. sure. which is oh, yeah. of course oh, yeah. why it's being and released on DVD. Series this week. seven right. and and uh, the tenth victim. But, but and, that being you know. said, I think it still does a good job taking the idea of a televised fight to the death and playing with things like the sponsorship. Like that's kind of a new concept here. I think it does a lot of things really well, and and the road that you see Katniss go down with the other guy from his district, from her district, Peta. Peta um, <laughs> Call you know, me. And, and, and kind of the <laughs> roles that they start to play in order to get more sponsorship. Like, that's somebody who's obviously play, paid attention to what happens on, say, Survivor. Yeah, absolutely. And, and or or I was thinking American Idol, I was thinking, actually, because there's always those people who, during the audition sequence, trot out the dead relative or the right. childhood disease so they get more right. camera time. Right. Like, PETA is very shrewd about playing the PR game. And, no, it definitely know. has both of those in it. And I think you mentioned Stanley Tucci figure. I mean, he's not so outlandish of a game show host that he couldn't function on some top-rated primetime show. I mean, I don't think right. he's that over the top. No, yeah, he not. could totally have like a cable like cooking competition show, <laughs> and nobody would think with twice those, about it. With those teeth, it's amazing. <laughs> and the well, blue pompadour. Yes. And what I think is uh, done really well is that opposed to Battle Royale, where it's really cartoony, super violent, you can really like just almost taste the blood when you're watching it. Is that Hunger Games doesn't have any of that yet? It still manages to be so intense. Like I didn't breathe the entire time. Right. If they'd shot the book, the book it would be an R. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's definitely PG-13. And I, I have to say, I was, it, you know, I, again, coming into this cold, I hadn't read the book. I was a little cold by the end of it in terms of, it, it felt like there's so much plot. Mm -hmm. Plot, 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 plot. And, and that's great, and it keeps things moving, and it's exciting, and it's fun to watch. But by the end of it, I felt like I didn't really know any of these people, even no. Katniss to some extent. was like, well, she's she's determined, and she's willful, and that's kind of it. No, she's, she's much more. She's much more than she's that. She's here to kill some no, kids. I, but, but, I but, think but, but I'm talking about movie Katniss. Okay. You're coming in armed with knowing book right. Katniss. I actually, I have to tell you, I thought movie Katniss was a continuation of Jennifer for Lawrence's role in uh, Winter's Bone. Winter's Bone. Winter's Bone. Winter's Bone. Winter's Bone. Jeez, that's what happened to she her? She knows how to eat a squirrel. <laughs> and I thought she was great. Like, I, I loved watching her. I thought that she was surprisingly subtle for such a young actress. No, she's, she's terrific. I just kind of felt like the movie didn't... I, I, I just, she, so, she sort of felt kind of like stock capable heroine. And that was great, and she was good at doing that, but the, 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 the script didn't leave me with anything more to take away from it. Well, that. we don't really get stock heroine these days. No, which is great. No, believe yeah. me. I mean, so it's like, give me suck this. It, Twilight. Well, <laughs> yes, yes <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. I would much rather the young women look at the, to this as a role model. But I'm just saying, for those of us who didn't read the book, mm. they do hurry through a lot of yes. yeah, I, that's true. character you stuff know, in favor of plot. And plot is fine, because plot definitely keeps the, the motor running. I, I didn't have an issue with that. The only thing that I had trouble with was really, you know, and, and probably, I don't know if this is explained better in the books, the idea of each district having to give up two people to compete in these games every year. Two teenagers. Two yeah. teenagers. Yeah. Explain like explain that in the beginning. Right, but I didn't really buy, like, how is that a viable political system? Like, how does that continue to happen? <laughs> it keeps them like, down. It keeps I, them down and yet gives them the false Right, but that's the thing. Is I didn't, but yo. that's the thing yeah. is I didn't understand how that kept everyone else in those districts Oppressed. Listen, like it, haven't you I, watched that Coney video? This is Uganda. <laughs> no, and the other thing I wanted to say is that I wanted to see the French people from District 13 come up and do parkour at Kick Rooms. <laughs> B13. B13. Yeah, that, that's the full right? book, which is, is coming that, very, that, very that's soon. That's going to be and awesome. And the shrimp from District 9. Where were yes. they? <laughs> Where were they? What the well, hell? Um, we should talk really fast about the fact that Gary Ross directed this, which is a little unexpected of a choice in theory, given that he directed, like, Pleasantville hey, and Seabiscuit. <laughs> right. I mean, would, is this a good fit for him, do you guys think? Underdog, same thing. I okay. think that it works really well because he's so attached to that kind of story. And Katniss is like really coming of age and needs a lot of tenderness that Gary Ross. Just like Seabiscuit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. Horses, brunettes. She's uniting a depressed nation. Um, but it does make sense in that these movies are very high concept, and this definitely has like a pointed kind of political message to it. And yeah. so in that regard, it does make some sense. But he's never made a big action film. Right. I think the effects are super cheesy. Like when she comes out on fire, oh, it looks yeah. super fake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, now, what did you guys think of like the, 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 the way the rich people like dressed? Was that, That's did fine. it work That's for you or not? Yeah. Fucking 1%. 
<laughs> no, but I kind of it's pictured a, it like they're over the top and kind of like omnisexual and whatever. Because it reminded you know? me, it reminded me a little bit of the Apple, if you've ever seen that, oh that crazy ass <laughs> 1980, you know, like disco musical. It's right. a lots of beard glitter and you know mm -hmm. shoes for hats or whatever. Um, <laughs> but it, you know, it was it kind of I, it was it was it was cheesy, but I'll 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 go it, with it. It, it worked. Just, you know. They all just got their clothes from Lenny Kravitz in real life. Lenny Kravitz <laughs> is really great in this. By he the way. is. He's I'll so play, good. He's subtle gold eyeliner. Playing yeah. the same role he played in Precious, basically, which is Teen yes. Girl's Fairy Godfather. No, uh, but really but good. good. No, really he's subtle. he's compelling. I liked him. I thought the um, there was a there was a they were everybody was seeming was playing it pretty seriously except for Stanley Tucci and Elizabeth Banks yeah. and Toby Jones who were just like woo. I mean, like they are going bananas. Well, with Effie's, Effie's, Effie's obnoxious <laughs> in the book, though. And yeah. even with their obnoxiousness, this is still like is such an intense movie, and mm. I'm probably bringing a lot into it because I'm such a huge fan. But I mm. just the entire time was like, <gasps> yeah. Oh my god, that was me biting my nails, by the way. Yes. Yeah, so, but you mentioned being a fan. Do you guys think that there's so much hype for this film? Will this meet the hype and will fans be? Satisfied? I think it will. I think it's it's a you know what it sounds. I mean, again, I haven't read the books, but it sounds like a really solid adaptation of a book. Everyone like, if yeah. you like the book. What it sounds like is that you're pretty satisfied with it, yeah. and if yeah. you go into it cold, you're gonna like it too. I yeah. think it's still yeah, pretty no, good. No, no. And if you're, you know, if you're the dude that's getting dragged by your girlfriend or you know the dad that has to take the wife and the daughter, you know what? It's it's still pretty good. And that's why Jennifer Lawrence is right. awesome because everybody can like her. Right, mm -hmm. and it's a lot better than having to sit through those fucking Twilight. Movies. <laughs> oh, and the, there's your blur. Right the, the, there. the, the, the only the only people who are going to complain about this are the super nitpickers about yes. the book. Like there were there was a girl in the lobby afterwards, like this 15 year old with a PETA T-shirt on, <laughs> who was just Team like PETA. had like a list going about all oh, oh and they left out this and how like this. She was so like super right. like like those people that know every rivet in the Titanic. Right, you know? those are people yeah. who don't understand that books and movies are different. Uh, totally. But regardless, that girl plus a million other people are going to see it. Like the yes. ticket sales and for this, the ticket sales for this pre-sale on Fandango have beat every single pre-sale for every Twilight movie ever. Good. And they're like two, they're like two thousand sold-out shows yes. already, right? Yeah. Exactly. Which is amazing. That. And Tomato World, where is it? Ninety percent. Woe Ooh. be unto Ooh. Cole Smithy, the first person who dared not like <laughs> the the Hunger Games. Yeah, but there's like what, seven people arrow. out there who don't like it, including right. like what Andrew O'Hare doesn't like. Yeah, Renee Rodriguez Richard in Miami. Anyway, very ballsy. All right, let's, let's do know you by name. I'll call you out. I volunteer. Um, so, what numbers do we have? Give it up. Uh, seven and a half. 8.3. I give it an 8. I gave it a 7.8, so um, our average is 7.9, which is way lower than the tomato meter. The tomato mm -hmm. meter is like, what, 90? 90. 90. So, anyway, but we still all liked it a lot, so have fun. But the tomato meter for this group would be 100% because we all liked it. Ooh. Um. That's true. This is literally math. <laughs> now I've shut down the show. <laughs> I've completely shut down all the right, show. All right, have Don't. fun. May and the, the odds, odds be ever in your, your favor. favor. Bye-bye. <laughs>